we're approaching the last few days and indeed we've entered the last week of April it doesn't feel like April we've still got the overall wetness that we've had pretty much from last autumn here in the UK and even though Nottinghamshire's probably fared drier than other parts of the country it's still been exceptionally wet it's the wettest I can ever remember to be honest it's the wettest early spring and winter you know where winter was mild it seems as though it's just carried on into a cool spring again temperature today will barely be in double figures and so in my quest to find some insects and other invertebrates I'm having to resort back to some winter foraging I'm looking under logs Now in the world of myriapods and isopods, most Lithobius centipedes are very difficult to identify on sight. However, all is not lost if you're getting into these or thinking of getting into centipedes because this is an easy one. If I can delicately move these away to expose this one, this is Lithobius variegatus, or variegatus, depending on your upbringing. Very distinctive, it's the legs, the annulations in the legs, where the legs go from light to dark, light to dark, that make this probably the easiest of the Lithobius centipedes, at least that we have here in the UK. It gets to a, a good size, almost as large as the commonest of the large Lithobius, which is Lithobius forficartus. That's the one that most people will have seen, the large brown centipede in a similar manner and shape of this one. But that can be mistaken for other species. Although it's generally large size in Nottinghamshire, means if you call it Lithobius forficartus, you're on to a a decent winner, so to say. However, Lithobius variegatus here is an absolute beauty. The good thing about this particular species is this. The fact that it doesn't entirely run off, at least not after getting its breath back when you immediately disturb it. And that large ant that's coming along is Myrmica rudinodis. This Lithobius has probably got another malt or so to go before attaining full size. It's an impressive centipede, and say it's the annulations on the legs that make it particularly beautiful. And it's a favourite among photographers because, as I mentioned, it does this, it doesn't run off straight away. Most, if not all, Lithobius do. I've mentioned how. This species generally stays still rather than run off, as do all Lithobius and most other centipedes and millipedes, to be honest. They're all usually long gone after a minute or so at the most of being exposed, but Lithobius variegatus here isn't inclined to do that. Although I am surprised that this one has stayed here for so long. It's allowed me to change the angle of shot. And this angle really shows the annulations in the legs, particularly the hind legs, which in case you're unaware, the head is to the left and the back end of the centipede is to the right. But those legs are particularly beautiful and the whole animal itself has a chestnut brown head. And then the various sections of the body are various shades of chestnut. Very attractive species. Most of the other Lithobius are all very dark, rich chestnut brown. This one easily identifiable once you've seen one or two centipedes. Well I've just continued research and just looking under a large sheet of old pine bark and there's two more Lithobius variegatus under here and two larger specimens too. These are adult and the Aniscus ocellus woodlouse gives some idea of scale. This one is lighter than the other one. I'll show you the other one now, actually. Mm. You can clearly see the difference in colour here between 
the two specimens both full grown. It's nice to see. It has been the commonest of the large Lithobius that I've found as I've walked around Ransom Wood today on this rather cool day when there's not a great deal of invert activity, having to go looking for everything today. But always nice to find this particular centipede. It's a great one to go and look out for and if you're thinking of getting into centipedes and daren't, this is an easy one to start with. <laughs> 